Hey guys, and welcome back to Pokemon Red. In the last part, uh, we got to the gym in Saffron City, and we cleared it all out. And then we got up to Sabrina. But, I've got Electabuzz to nickname, so we're gonna do that first. But, before we do that, um, this is my first video, um, like, LP-wise, that I'm editing with, um, Avid Studio. So, comment, let me know what you think about the, um... The quality. I tried to get it just the same as it always was before, but just let me know if it seems or looks any different. Anyway, we got some nicknames to bestow, and by some, I mean one. Let's just start. Coming in at number five for Electabuzz's nickname is uh, S Cipher 666 with Blitzkrieg, the uh, you know Lightning War in German. At least I think it's called Lightning War. I mean, I think. I think Blitzkrieg means lightning war. I don't know. I'm no I'm not exactly a German professor. Number four is Zenmant with Biri Biri, which is apparently the Japanese onomatopoeia for electric um electric shocks. So there's something I didn't know. <laughs> uh number three is Sonic Freak 316 with Watt, as a reference to the Paper Mario uh Let's Play and Let's Replay, so I thought that was cool. Number two is Tone Geek Gamer with uh, Franklin, as in the Franklin badge from Mother. And, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. Uh, I, I, I have crap. I know we said it was something else in the comment, but I forgot. But the Franklin badge and Mother, uh, in the Mother universe, it reflects back lightning bolts. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, that was pretty quick. And the number one nickname for Electabuzz ended up being ACDC. Oh yeah. I don't think anybody can disagree with me on that one. I loved that nickname. That is so boss. And, oh crap, I didn't... Oh dang it, I didn't say his name. <laughs> the person who submitted that was Teeny Leaf. Oh, oh well, it doesn't matter. It's not like I forgot completely. Now something that I did completely forget before were some honorable mentions of nicknames for Polyrath. I know this was a long time ago, but I feel really bad about having forgotten about this twice now. So, well, no, just once. So I gotta bring these up. These were the ones that were really, really good, but they just didn't quite make it in because, you know, I had to choose five, so I couldn't choose all of them. They were all really great, though. Um, the first one was a uh, Ginyu, suggested by Kaiser Mage Videos. Remember how in um, Dragon Ball Z abridged how Ginyu turns into a frog? Yeah, I thought that was perfect. Um, next up is the Cuckoo Yo 9779 with Don Gero, or Don Gero, I think it's Gero, from, um, uh, Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. So, there you go. Uh, director of the Frog Choir. Um, and that was submitted, oh wait, no. Yeah, it's still the Cuckoo Yo. Okay, anyway. Uh, next up was Rodek 5, and he submitted, a uh, King Zora. Don't think I need to go into much more than that. And um, next up is Jonas Win, and he su submitted Suijin, which is apparently the Shinto God of Water. Or, I think it was the Shinto God of Water. I hope it is, because I forgot. <laughs> but yeah, I thought that one was really great. Last honorable mention was submitted by Gornplay, and he submitted Sir Raleigh from uh, Sly Cooper. So, I thought that one was also really good. So... Now that I finally, finally remember to actually do that, and actually give credit where credit was due, um, we're gonna head back to Cerulean City and kill us some freaking psychic types, because that's what we gots to do now. Um, I would fly, but in this, in, uh, red and blue, Charizard can't learn fly, so... Brilliant. <laughs> give a dragon wings, but don't let it actually learn fly. That's just amazing. Uh, wait, where are we? Okay, good, we are in, uh, Saffron City. I was worried for a sec there. Okay. And see, that was, that didn't take too long. I was kind of worried that that was going to take a little bit of time, but nope. Um, crap, did I forget my way through here? Um, I don't think I did. 
Uh, no, no, I don't think that was it. I think it was this one. And then we go up. No! Oh, great, I'm lost again! <laughs> I should have just cut back. Okay, here, down. Down. Okay, good. Whew! I thought I was screwed there for a second. Alright, so. Uh, who are we gonna send out first? Um... Why don't we send out Rambi? Let's just try it. He needs some experience, so I'll go ahead and send him out first. I'm not gonna lose, but eh. Let's see. I have had a vision of your arrival. I have had psychic power since I was a child. I first landed Ben Spoons. Good for you. I dislike fighting, even though it's my job to fight. <laughs> so, okay. You dislike fighting, and hi there, whip. <sighs> People were bringing that up. God. Whatever. Um, <laughs> freaking whips. Um, if you don't like fighting, why did you become a freaking gym leader? That's not exactly the smartest move. Ugh. Anyway, let's see if Rambi can even survive this. Ouch! Jeez, I'm just glad he didn't get confused. And <laughs> you could have used Psychic and just one shot at me. Uh, yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about, Rambi. Yeah. Okay, what's next? Uh, Mr. Mime. Um, let's see. Why don't we try ACDC? Let's get him out there. Let's get him some screen time. Now that he has his brand new, freaking awesome nickname. I really like that. That's just great. I never would have thought of that. And I love it how it refers, one, to the best band ever, and it also refers to, you know, alternating electrical currents. That, that's perfect. I could never have come up with a better nickname for Electabuzz. So anyway, uh, Venomoth. Ooh, okay, so I'll take this out with what's it called, too. Awesome. With, uh, what's it called? ACDC. It's right there on the screen, dude. It's right there on the screen. Oh, use your eyes and read. All right, ooh, special fell. Awesome. Um, this is Venomoth. This is... I mean, whatever. <laughs> Venomoths are uh, very fast and actually very specially powerful. It's just that in this generation they didn't have a whole ton of good moves to utilize because Poison was a physical type and really the best move it had going for it was uh, Psychic. So, yeah. It was kind of... It wasn't so good in this generation. But, I'm going to attempt what I attempted the last time. And I succeeded the last time. I'm going to send out... She's going to send out her Alakazam, level 43. It matches my Charizard. Most, probably the second strongest psychic type in the game. And the psychic type is without a doubt the strongest type in this game. And I'm sending out its, what, something weak to it. Let's see, I'm going to take it out. You friggin' watch. Okay, it's faster than me. It's using uh, Reflect. It doesn't matter. I cut straight through it. Let's see. Okay. You watch. I'm going to kill it. I knew it! <laughs> I killed it. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. I killed an Alakazam with a Primeape. That should never happen. Oh, whatever. I don't know what I'm trying to imitate there. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I love that. I'm shocked. Yeah, I know. Me either. I mean, me too. Ugh. Maybe if you tried using actual attacking moves. God, that's great. The marriage badge. Okay. Whips. Okay. Enough. <laughs> TM46. Psywave. The worthless. No, one of the most worthless moves in the game. Seriously. <sighs> okay. Psywave isn't really worthless, but essentially what it is, it's like. It's a varying damage move. It's kind of hard to explain, but basically if it hits, it'll do a varying amount of damage. It doesn't usually hit very hard. So, if you're going to have a Psychic type, just give it a move like Psychic. That's already insanely powerful, guaranteed to hit. So, I, I don't know why they gave her that TM, but oh well. I guess if they made her overpowered, then she'd be even harder to beat. So, okay. Now that we've cleared out this area, we've pretty much cleared the entire mainland. Where else could we possibly go now? There's not much else we can really do. Well, I'm going to get my Doduo. Hang on. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. That took a while because I got interrupted, but it's okay. Anyway, now I have Doduo. 
And as you can see, we've cleared out pretty much all of the main one. We've been to Pallet Town, Viridian, Pewter, Cerulean, Lavender. We've been all through this area. But, as you can see, south of Fuchsia City is an area that we haven't really checked out yet. And that's where we're going to be heading next. So let's get a move on. Um, Electabuzz, or any electric, or grass, or any kind of type like that is going to be great here. Have to warm up before my swim! Okay, so while you're warming up, I'll just come along and kill you. Then you'll have to go back and heal and warm up again. Ha ha ha! I will mildly inconvenience you! And yeah, whatever. Alright. Oh, it's gonna be fun to go through Pokemon Col uh, Coliseum. I keep calling it Coliseum, but I guess that is the one I've played the most. Pokemon Stadium with uh, this team, because I I actually never did, um, like in my practice run, I never did any of the major cups with this team. I, I imported it into the game, but I didn't really do anything with it, so it's going to be fun to see how this team actually performs in there. Hey, it's level 40 now, or ACDC is. Awesome. Oh, and we're coming up on the glitch, too. I know people are excited to see the glitches, so that's going to be really fun. Um, jeez, man. Wait, you're going to have a heart attack. Well, don't worry, I have a defib. Oh, wait, right, he's not called defib, so if I do have a heart attack, I'll be dead. Thanks a lot, guys, for making me rename him. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> anyway, tons and tons of water types here, so... If you have a grass, just like I said before, if you have a grass or electric type, it is going to be in heaven here. Um, I went ahead and I left Rambi behind. I'm kind of disappointed that I had to do that because I want him to get experience. And then I'd also have Dig on hand for what's coming up, but he's the least useful member. So I opted to leave him behind. Um... After, after this guy, I'm actually probably going to head back and I'm going to get some escape ropes because if I don't have Dig, it'll take way too long to actually get out of the cave after, we're, after we finish up doing what we're going to be doing here. Okay, ooh, that's chilly. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just like where we're going to be going, anyway. Um, wait, do I have an escape rope? I think I dropped him. Uh, jeez, okay, yeah, I did drop it, alright. Uh, I will be right back again. I'm going to put a whole crap ton of items away and then buy an escape rope or two. So, hang on just a sec. And hey, I'm actually editing. Okay, and we're finally back here now. Um, I went ahead and I healed, I put away all those items, and I got some new ones. I went ahead and bought a bunch more Ultra Balls. I got 19 of them. Um... I left myself a Hyper Potion. We found that, I think, in the Rocket Place. I got five revives, and I got three escape ropes. I'm pretty sure I'm only going to need one escape rope, but I just got three, just because. Why not? Um, you're going to need Surf in this area, obviously, because we're moving into the ocean now. So, um, another good idea would be uh, Repels, because, just like in Caves, the ocean, every single square of the ocean, you can find Pokemon. So, yeah. Well... It's not just the ocean. If you ever surf, or if you're ever surfing on water, you can always find Pokemon. So, if you don't want to find Pokemon, use Repels. I'm going to be avoiding battles here, and I'm probably not going to come back for these fights, just because I really... I don't... At this point, I don't even need the freaking experience. Um, did I come the wrong way? I hope I didn't. I don't think I did. Yeah, I went the right way. Okay, so... Uh, this is a very important place. I actually did not foreshadow this at all, because there's an area that you can go to to see the Pokemon we're going to be attempting to catch here. Um, but I didn't do that, so there's no foreshadowing here. Sea Foam Islands. Why don't we go on in? See what we have in store for us. Um, so, now that you're in a cave, you're still going to need repels here. And the big, big gimmick here is Strength Puzzles. So you're going to need someone who has strength. So that will be Mr. Norris. That's also why I left behind, um, you know, what's his name? Um, Rambi. Now, because of the way strength works in this game, um, the animations take a long time. Oh, dang it. Yeah, the animations for pushing boulders take quite a while, so this is going to take a while. Um, I don't know where we are at in the video, so hopefully this isn't going to get too, too terribly long. 
So, yeah. Um, what you're going to want to do is attack its weak point for massive damage. Um, you're going to want to go into every single floor of this area and push rocks in holes. That's pretty much the whole gimmick of this place. Is just pushing rocks in holes. And once you get them all the way down to the bottom floor, they will block off currents in the water. And um, when the currents are blocked off, you'll be able to surf to special areas. And you'll need to block off um, the major current in the area in order to get to where we're trying to get to. And wow, I actually just explained the puzzle here. That's usually kind of a hard thing to explain. <laughs> but okay, anyway. Uh, the annoying thing is that every time you descend a floor by going down a ladder or through a hole, you got to use strength again. So that makes this place just a little bit tedious. I actually don't mind this place all that much. I know some people that's like, oh, I hate this place so much. Uh, namely Chuck a Conroy. But you know what? I've actually never disliked this place because you know what? I'm one of those rare people that like strength puzzles again. <laughs> it's like everybody thinks these things suck and it's... The only thing in these games that actually makes you think, you know? I mean, it's not as if the... Oh, well, it's not as if the plots are five-star, you know? It's not exactly, like, Tales of Symphonia level, but whatever. I'm not dissing Pokemon, don't worry. I'm just saying that Strength Puzzles are the only thing that makes you think. And I like to think in games, so blah, blah, blah. Anyway, um, I'm pretty sure that ladder up isn't going to take you anywhere important. You know what? I don't know how much I edited out of here, but I just want to get through this whole place in one sitting. So, you know what? Where's it going to go? I don't care how long it takes. I don't freaking care. Just like my Zapdos. I don't freaking care. <laughs> and if this thing annoys me too, I will kill it. Just so you know. Even though it is my personal favorite and one of my all-time favorite Pokemon in the entirety of the series, if it annoys me, I'm going to kill it. Just so you know. Um, oh, wait. We fell down. I do need to go up this ladder. Crap because I need to fall down a hole on the right side. Okay. And yeah, I know I know that makes absolutely no sense to people watching, but I am kind of visualizing this the layout of this place in my head cuz I kind of sort of know this place pretty well. So, I I know what I'm doing. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. So, that's what you need to do. You need to get into both of these holes here. You need to you need to push these big white balls into holes. Whatever. Anyway. Uh, and as you can see, that water there is blocked off. If we had come down here earlier, there would have been a current. And you can't and you couldn't surf there. And let's see. Danger! Fast current! Let's see. Oh, come on. Alright. That should be blocked off unless I miss some boulders. I might have missed boulders though, I don't know. I don't remember exactly how this place looks uh, in this generation, so yeah. Okay, good. I guess that did it. Um, let's see. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm in the wrong area, aren't I? Talk right there, and you get an Ultra Ball. Very nice. That'll help us. Yeah, yeah, come on. All right. Got to use Surf again. All right, so come on through here. Um, let's see. Are we there? Uh, I think we are. I don't know, actually. <laughs> Oh, wait. Oh, right. We forgot those. We got to get down there. Dang it. All right. Well, we still got some puzzle work to do here, so I'm going to go ahead and end it off. And in the next part, uh, we're going to go ahead and complete the final puzzles of this area and get to our main attraction here in the Seafoam Islands. So see you guys then.